Tips to Vinci is a social uh, painting venue where it's as much about uh, getting together with some friends or your date or a group of girls or family members and socializing um, uh, while you all have a common goal of creating a particular painting. Uh, the painting is led by an artist who will help you get through it step by step. Um, and some folks are intimidating thinking they can, but we spend a whole lot of time with the artist and developing the painting uh, to where it walks that tightrope to where folks feel that um, it's challenging enough to where they're incredibly proud by the time they're, they're finished with it, mm -hmm. um, but, hard, but not so hard to where it's impossible and they can get it done and still have time to socialize. Exactly. It is a, it's as much about getting together, having a drink with your buddies, and not just total work to where you're spending the whole time painting something. Exactly. So you don't have to be an expert, uh, but you can still uh, learn something. If you're someone who's interested yeah. in the arts, you can still learn something. Yeah, not at all an expert. As a matter of fact, we, uh, we, we brand it as no painting experience needed. So if you've never held a paintbrush in your entire life, um, that's who this is built for. Now, we're nestled inside of a fine art gallery, so we have some serious art. But this is this is beginner art. It's where everybody can explore their creativity. We notice sometimes in in the art world that it, some folks get intimidated. We try to make it fun. We break down those barriers. Absolutely. And, and so I think of the the types of people that would really get something out of this. I think of the people that are maybe in a rut and they need something different for a date, or maybe they haven't been involved in the arts for years, or or maybe they're, they're just tired of watching sports all the time. Isn't this a great way to, yeah. to get out and do something Absolutely. different? Right, and it's outside the perimeter. There's a bunch of things to do <laughs> inside the perimeter, you know, downtown, midtown Atlanta. Outside of the perimeter, there's not a lot. And we notice, you know, you can go to a bar. Uh, a lot of people are tired of going to a bar and listening to Freebird for the 200th time. <laughs> looking for something different to do. And they come out, they explore their creativity. It's BYOB, so everybody brings something to drink. It's usually alcohol. It be, so sometimes people ask, does it have to be alcohol? It doesn't have to be alcohol. Hmm. B, the last B stands for beverage. It can be anything that you want. <laughs> but it, pretty much everybody brings beer, wine, sure. something to just uh, relax them a little bit. Absolutely. And they don't need to bring any art supplies? Or? Nothing, no. Bring a smile. Come with a come and we're prepared to have a good time. You don't need to bring anything at all. It's all provided for. That's great. Aside from the Tipsy Da Vinci activities, tell me a little something about the gallery. Tell me about the artists that you feature. We have a fine art gallery. It's probably um, one of Metro Atlanta's best art galleries. We have um, some internationally acclaimed artists, very, very well known. And then we have other artists that are not known at all. They're emerging. They're unknown. But the cool thing about them being unknown is their prices are unknown as well. It's uh, sure. much better price points before they've made it in the art world. We have predominantly medium-sized to large-sized artworks. Um, so if you've, got a, if you've got a wall that you're looking to put a statement piece on, mm -hmm. you're likely to find it here. A variety of styles and a variety of artists to choose from. We get about maybe two to three artists a week that would like to showcase in the gallery. We, we would love to showcase them all. We can't. We we pick up maybe one or two a year. We right. Don't, we don't have that kind of room, but it allows us to choose the best of the best that's out there. And oftentimes we find that some of the very well-known artists, their works don't necessarily look a lot better than some of the ones that are emerging. Sure. There's some amazing talent out there, and we showcase a little bit of all of it. Well, that's fantastic. Um, you, um, not to go back into Tipsy Da Vinci, but we can, um, we attract some pretty cool artists that want to teach these classes because they're attracted to being a part of the, of the art realm. But we, um, probably our most famous artist, or one of our most famous artists, his name is Pino, and he, um, he began, he did the Harlequin romance novels back in the 80s and 90s. Okay. Uh, apparently, if you were an author and you wanted your book to sell, everybody was gravitating towards Pino to get him to illustrate the cover. Oh, wow. Yeah, he um, he did well. He stopped being an illustrator and moved into figurative portrait art, um, best-selling artist in the United States for 15 years straight. 
Wow. He passed away about four years ago, mm -hmm. uh, but he still has a collections of, of works, and uh, we're in constant communications with his son, uh, Max. Uh, James Coleman is another big name that we carry. Alexander Nikita is a, is a big name that we carry. Brian, tell me about uh, the framing. I know that's another part of the gallery. Sure. We have at, uh, in the back part of the gallery, there's a full uh, factory, if you will, where we do custom framing. You can frame anything under the sun, whether it's um, uh, a poster that you found somewhere or, or a jersey that you would like to get shadow boxed. Family photos going across the wall in nice uh, custom frames. We have uh, designers here that will help you pick out uh, the mats and the glass and the frame that will coordinate and tie in with the artwork or photograph or sports jersey or whatever memorabilia you have. Oh, okay. Yeah, and if, and but the options are unlimited. There's billions of things of different designs and things that you can do Absolutely. to get creative. If it's important to you, show it. It's show it. Yeah, <laughs> it's and people they enjoy it. Sometimes they can get addicted to it. Once they do it once, they really have a lot of fun designing it picking out the colors that they would like, what's important to them, and they get it on their wall and they're proud of it. It lasts a lifetime when, when you frame something and it decorates your house. It's a great way to decorate your house with something that is um, special to you and not something that's mass produced from absolutely know, from a big box craft store. Absolutely. Well, Brian, I appreciate the time. You're welcome, Zach. Thanks okay. for having me. All right.